Moroccan home decor is a well-appointed way to bring both form, function, and flair to your home. The North African country is well known for its lanterns, bold patterns, and handcrafted accents, but there's so much more to Moroccan decor than just the colorful and cozy aesthetic. Moroccan identity and culture is a vibrant mix of Berber, Arab, and European cultures. Its capital is Rabat, while its largest city is Casablanca. This is what is so great about Moroccan craftsmanship and home decor, it manages to cross all borders, all social classes, all styles of decoration. Since independence, Morocco has remained relatively stable. It has the fifth largest economy in Africa and wields significant influence in both Africa and the Arab world. It is considered a middle power in global affairs and holds membership in the Arab League, the Union for the Mediterranean, and the African Union. The main characteristic of Moroccan houses is the presence of zelage tilework, which is the maximum expression of local craftsmanship, zelage, colored tiles, arches, and handmade stuccos will all give a Moroccan-inspired feel. The word Morocco is derived from the name of the city of Marrakesh, which was its capital under the Almoravid dynasty and the Almohad Caliphate. According to Marzari, no Moroccan home or Riyadh is complete without ample time for tea. In the early part of the classical antiquity period, Northwest Africa and Morocco were slowly drawn into the wider emerging Mediterranean world by the Phoenicians, who established trading colonies and settlements there, the most substantial of which were Chela, Lixis, and Mogadar. Moroccan-made furniture, which is typically made of high-quality, hand-carved wood, wrought iron, and sometimes can even be hand-painted. Morocco later became a realm of the Northwest African civilization of ancient Carthage, and part of the Carthaginian Empire. Moroccan flair to consider both form and function, 
seeing the beauty in everyday routine. In Morocco, we place emphasis on the need for each piece to be designed for a specific function in the everyday life of Moroccans, what's more, the handmade aspect gives these objects a particular character, a soul. In 1549, the region fell to successive Arab dynasties claiming descent from the Islamic prophet, Muhammad, first the Saadi dynasty who ruled from 1549 to 1659, and then the Alawite dynasty, who remain in power since the 17th century. Morocco was faced aggression from Spain and the Ottoman Empire allies pressing westward. Okay, it is time for tea. Another element is lighting. Choose lanterns made of materials like copper or brass, and look for pieces that are intricately carved with geometric shapes. As Europe industrialized, Northwest Africa was increasingly prized for its potential for colonization. France showed a strong interest in Morocco as early as 1830, not only to protect the border of its Algerian territory, but also because of the strategic position of Morocco with coasts on the Mediterranean and the open Atlantic. The classic Moroccan living room seems like an unabated celebration of life with bright colors and diverse textures galore. I am hungry. Let's eat, there is a Denny's.